Hi everyone, this is Anjigo TV. Uh, please do me a favor and share this video. This is your Reverend Father. He's teaching. I love his teaching. Even though that not everything he said that everyone will believe. But watch the video and listen to what he said in this teaching. Why do you go to the club? I will say, Father, I work six days a week very hard. 12 hour shift every day, long hours. Just, I have one day off. I just want to go to the club. I mind my own business. I sit there. I drink a little bit, not too much. Maybe one schooner, one, one glass of wine. I don't play pokies. I have some lunch, some dinner with my friends, with my family, and then I go back home. But I went to the club to relax, to cool down, to just lay back a bit because it's been a long week. Wow. So you find your peace in the club. You find your comfort in the club, the house of Satan. In the Lebanese accent, Habib Al Bishuhai. Share the video. You're going to Satan to find peace. Hello, anybody home? Why don't you say, my son, I've been working six days very hard. On the seventh day, I went to the house of the Lord to cool down, to relax, to be revitalized, rejuvenated. I want to be revived, recharged once again. Why don't you go to the church and relax and have something to eat with your family called the body and the blood of Christ who gives you the sustainability to carry on for the rest of your life. Is it wrong to relax in the house of the Lord instead of the club? Why don't you come to the Lord? Keep on watching. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons of God. Well, in the world there is no peace. The funniest thing you will ever hear from the people of the world when they say, we are working frantically to make peace. <laughs> the United Nations, the UN is working so hard to make peace possible. Be gone, Satan. This is the biggest lie you could ever hear in your life. People of the world are trying to make peace possible. Wow. Let's continue watching. Outside of God, the true living God, who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you're Please, trying yeah. to make peace, you're sons of the snake. You're liars. In the name of peace, they've killed innocent children, father and mother, elderly, destroyed life, families in the name of peace. I don't care what people say. What is happening in Israel currently as we speak? What peace? What peace? This group blames the other and the other blames the other. Never ending story. And in watching, the meanwhile, please. innocent people are being killed, destroyed, Sorry, vanishing from the face of this earth in the name of this is my homeland. No, this is my homeland. This is my territory. No, this is my territory. Away with you. Because they're trying to do it their way away from God until we receive the true divine God in our hearts who is Jesus Christ of Nazareth and Jesus Christ has got nothing to do with Christians with anyone else Jesus Christ is God for God's sake he is not Orthodox he is not Catholic definitely not Protestant he is none of you he is God the creator of everyone and everything visible and invisible until 
we come and have this true divine God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in our hearts, we will never ever find peace. Period. Never. When I see a little Palestinian child crying, wounded, have lost the entire family. I don't care what you say. This is a little baby. How dare you take a life that God gave? It's not yours. There will never be peace in the world because Christ is not in it. They don't want Christ to be in it. He's everywhere, but they don't want him to be in it. That's why they're acting like little kids, yet they are adults in stature. So therefore, this is what you call a fool. When someone who is mature, acting like a little kid, that is an ignorant, foolish human being. This land is ours. When you have Jesus Christ in your heart, no land is yours. It is either this, either the whole land is yours, and at the same time, all of it is not yours. All of it is mine, and all of it is not. Why? Because when I have Christ, the whole world is mine because the Lord has purchased it with his own blood. My sweetheart owns everything. It's all mine. But since my sweetheart said, the son of man has no place to lay his head on. Therefore, since I'm walking in his footprints, thus I have no place in this world to lay my head on. I don't want it. I want Jesus. I don't want this world fighting over land, territory, houses, materialistic things, money, wealth, fame, all this nonsense, nonsense. At the end, this land that we're fighting all over is going to be my grave. That's what the land is, my grave. It will swallow me one day, if, whether I like it or not. So the land we're fighting over, over, the, over that land, over it, it's the grave. That's all it is. So Israel is a grave. Palestine is a grave. Australia is a grave. America is a grave. Canada is a grave. Europe is a grave. Asia is a grave. Middle East is a grave. So you want to fight over your grave? <laughs> Go for it. That's foolishness. Foolishness. You want to take the land? <laughs> Have it. You want to take the throne? You're fighting over the throne? You want to take away from this bishop? Please, man, I'll help you. I'll help you carry it. I'll make you a better one from China, very cheap. What are you fighting for? This is my church. This is my land. This is my throne. This is my flock. None of it is yours. It's the Lord's. Why are you afraid? Oh. You're afraid that your position may be shaken and your throne may be shaken. That's why you're fighting. So it's not about the Lord. It's about your throne. The people that, that, are, that belong to this church, if they want to go to another church, fine, please, go ahead. <laughs> go to another church. Because I've entrusted you in the hands of the, the Good Shepherd. Whatever the Lord has given me, I'll give you. 